So when we looked at it, we're like, wait, does that look like it has like some sort of like Confederate look to it? Is that the Confederate flag or is that the Mississippi flag? What's up, dudes? My name is Leia and this is Matt. Hello. And you're listening to a podcast where you get to listen to our honest conversations on the road as we travel to all 48 continental United States. And welcome to Getting to Know Us. That was the first time I ever did that correctly. <laughs> All right, so where are we now and what are we doing? Right now we are in Arkansas, Arkansas. baby. Or Arkansas. Arkansas. Uh, we just drove from uh, Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi. Mississippi. Yep. Quite memorable, as you can tell. Um, Quite foresty and nothing. <laughs> and nothing. Uh, you can't even say it's a butthole because there's not enough there to say it's butthole. Yeah, I, yeah. So uh, we're on our way to Hot Springs, Arkansas, where we will be staying with um, our, our friend, our friend Lily, our friend, our friend Lily's, Lily's dad. dad. His name is Jerry. Very nice guy that uh, has. A home is, there. Yeah, he has a few different homes actually acro around the U.S. Um, and this is one of them though, and so he's very gracious enough to let us stay in, uh, I think, one of the rooms in his house. So, that'll be exciting. It's my birthday tomorrow. Woo! I am turning 24, and it was uh, interesting talking about like what I did the last year and stuff, but I'm excited to celebrate my birthday in a different place than I normally do. Mm -hmm. Doing different fun random things. Yeah, we have a. I just booked a massage for us both. Not a couple couples a massage, but in separate rooms. It's a Twenty-five minute Swedish massage. Uh huh. Which will for be tomorrow. Not long enough, but it'll be good. But good enough. Yeah. It'll be good enough. <laughs> you'll 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 walk out being like, damn, I could have done another thirty minutes easy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's all we have planned for tomorrow so far. But yeah, we're about an hour away, and so let's talk about Jackson, Mississippi. What did we do there, and what did we learn? Jackson, Mississippi, <laughs> man. I learned that they don't have any magnets. So. Yeah, they don't really have magnets there, so that kind of made us feel like, should we be collecting magnets? I think Leia's no, still super dedicated. No, I definitely dedicated. am. I personally then, it started to make me think though like, okay, like me personally as a travel traveler, like what do I want to maybe collect from different places? But also places? think about, do a lot of people visit Jackson, Mississippi? Probably not. Probably not. So, anyways. Uh, so what do we do there? We stayed at a very cute Airbnb that we found the day of. Yeah. Um, it was the first ever shared uh, space. Living situation. Yeah, shared living situation with other people. So basically, we went I mean, went that's there. not really true. Everywhere else we've stayed, we share it with like Joe No, but I mean like, but I mean Airbnb. Oh, got you, yeah. First Airbnb so, that we've been in like that. Right, so we, uh, we checked in and it's beautiful common area. There's a sunroom, a kitchen, living room, really big house, big backyard. Um, but there are two other rooms that could also be occupied by other people. Which they were. Which they were. Um, so, yeah, we stayed there. They were not creepy. One was a nurse that I never personally saw. I met her for about 30 seconds while I opened a beer. And uh -huh. I learned that she's, um, a, yeah, she's a nurse and she was just there for like a three month um, residency or whatever. And then moving on to the next place, but she was there already for like a month and a half, and so she was like halfway finished with, you know, doing her program there, but fairly enough, if she's doing a residency, that's why she wasn't social at all, because she was just, she would leave around sometime in the early it's evening. It's probably 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Yeah, exactly, and so she doesn't, she probably just sleeps for, you know, that whole time, has a meal, and goes. Right. Um... But yeah, it was interesting. Both of the people that were staying there were, were medical students. Were medical students um, who 
weren't just staying there for one night, they were actually living there. Right. So I thought that was really interesting that they chose to kind of rent out an Airbnb, which I asked the guy if they got a discount. He was like, yeah, like about 15%, which isn't that much. But 15% from like, I think I did the math, it's like around $1,300 if you were to stay there for a whole month. So 15% off of that is like probably a pretty expensive room. Uh, an um, expensive room for Jackson, Mississippi. It may be an expensive room for Jackson, but it also... Uh, it was in a really nice neighborhood. It's a really nice neighborhood. It's a really nice house. And so it's honestly a pretty good bang for your buck. Like if you were doing that in LA, like, oh shit, dude, it would great not, deal. Yeah. Great deal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was interesting. We met Chris. Um, he was fun. He was fun. He was married. Had some beers with him. And then, yeah, the other girl I never saw. She was a nurse. Yeah, Chris was fun to talk to. We kind of got... He grew up in the South, and we got to just chat with him about... Politics. Actually, the politics and um, just like what he does and like what we're up to. So it was, it was nice to meet a nice southern boy. Uh huh. Yeah. He was, um, good, he was a good dude. And what we did in, in Jackson was close to nothing. Yeah, we pretty much just worked and, and argued. argued a bit. Yeah, and then we did laundry. And um, we actually had really good barbecue food the first night that we were yeah. there. Yeah. So this was nice because they actually had a kitchen for us. And I love cooking and, you know, being, traveling a lot, you don't really get the time to really go grocery shopping and then, you know, have a space that you feel comfortable using and then clean it up and save in, you know, all those things. So it's actually nice. We got to cook um, some meals, but the one meal that we did eat out was called Pig and Pint, which you guessed it, there were pigs and pints. Um, and we ate them. Yeah, so we got to have some local uh, Jackson. Barbecue. Jackson beer, uh, Mississippi beers, their yes. local brewed. So we had some IPAs, that was fun. Those were good. Um, I had like this, I think it's called Fondras, which is just like nachos, but instead of chips, it's fries. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. And uh, those and I ribs. I had barbecue, ooh. baby back ribs. Those actually were so bomb. They were so good. I mean, yeah, probably, I mean, I don't eat ribs a lot. I don't eat ribs out that much because I actually, prefer the ribs that my dad cooks right but out of the ribs that I've eaten out at a restaurant probably my favorite but I'm, I don't do that a lot it, so. it, it was really good like I'm pretty harsh usually about ribs at restaurants just it's because good. they generally make it fall off the bone which I just fundamentally don't agree with I like to have a little bit of bite there but uh, there was a little bit of bite man and it was, it was an amazing flavor the barbecue sauce was so good it was a little bit tangy and sour, um, not sour, a little bit tangy and uh, spicy, spicy yeah. but it was delicious. So that was like our one excursion. Um, and yeah, we worked a lot, edited some photos, delivered some content to some clients, uh, some, some product photography. Uh, Matt did some editing, edited our first podcast, yep. which will be releasing tomorrow. Yeah, introduction episode is being released on the day of my birthday. So let us know what you think about the podcast. Yeah, I mean, if, you've the gotten, if you've gotten to this point, I guess, and now yeah, we're asking I you to tell so. us what you think, <laughs> really tell us what you think. No, because... really tell us what, is, what, what you think, because now we've kind of developed a flow. We've seriously only edited one. Right. We haven't even really edited the whole intro for the, like the real episodes. But that, let us know what you think. Yeah, we really want people's feedback. Because if because... you like this, that's great. We'll keep doing it. And if you're like, oh my god, stop talking. This is too long. Yeah. Or we want to know about this. Then okay, Or we cool. want to know more. Yeah, or we want to know about more about the food that you're eating or whatever Yeah, it is. I don't know. I feel like though, um, I don't know if we talked about this or not. I think we did in the episode where we talked about New Orleans, but in the, while we were there, I kind of had a realization that like, and I've, I've thought this for a while now, but like, um, vlogging can be a pretty ingenuine sometimes, and it really takes you out of the moment, yeah. which is why I've not been vlogging nearly as much for like the past six months plus. Um, it's really and tough. focusing more on podcasting because podcasting is a great way to reflect on this, on what you did or what you're, what you have done or you're about to do, you know, and, and it's just so much more authentic because you're just reflecting about what you actually did and you got to enjoy the moment full force and wholeheartedly. So I, I just like, yeah, that's why I think the podcast is better content than, you know, vlogging about everything that we're doing though. So give us your feedback on how you think we're doing on the podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, and then we argued. I I don't even 
really know what happened. I got upset about something, and then I just felt like I mean, we just argue. Down. We argue a little bit about work stuff all the time because of, it probably just spiraled. Yeah, and like we're way more sensitive right now to each other because we've been spending so much time together. But we're pretty self-aware of it all, I think. Yeah. Um, it was just a a moment, slip moment. And we were arguing, Leo. And there were no, there was no buffer. There was no buffer. Normally, like you know, we're staying with someone or like right. whatever. There was no one there really to diffuse or right anything. So so it was just like game on, baby. Right, Leia was sad. I was sad, but, but now she's good. But now I'm glad because yeah. I use glad. We do. We use glad trash bags actually for our laundry. <laughs> but I would say like the main thing that we were talking about with Chris and the main thing that we talked about being in Mississippi was, um, you know, the. I, I personally have this like stigma in my head like, oh, people in Mississippi are racist because I actually have met one person from Mississippi and he was extremely racist. And... Um, you know, very casually referred to black people with the N-word, and it was, like, super, super uh, bizarre to meet someone like that. And then, yeah, so my, my idea of Mississippi, I feel like, was a little bit tainted going into it, thinking, like, damn, all of these people here are racist. But I don't think that's necessarily the case. We didn't really get to We didn't have get to a meet true... a ton of people or have really in-depth conversations with locals, per se, yeah. so that's hard to say, actually. It's hard to say. But I think the main thing that we did talk about was, like, as soon as we drove in, like, one of the first buildings we saw in Mississippi was uh, was flying their state flag, uh -huh. which their state flag, if you want to bring people up to speed, well, if you're not aware of what that is. So, when we looked at it, we are like, wait, does that look like it has, like, some sort of, like... Confederate look to it. Is that the Confederate flag or is that the Mississippi flag? And I was like, oh, let me look it up. So I looked up like Confederate flag versus Mississippi flag. And then after reading about it, um, like the current Mississippi flag does have um, like some some elements from the Confederate flag. I forget the exact like term, but like it's the cross on like the upper left side. Um, and when I was reading more about it, there's obviously a lot of controversy about should we keep that? Is that a part of our culture? Is that a part of our history? Or is that, you know, oppressing people in the current, you know, uh, well, it's climate? Offensive. And it's, it's, it's offensive. It's offensive because offensive. it did oppress well, people for so long. Right, right, of course. But what I'm saying is that, like, is it offensive and oppressive in its current state? Right, and so that was why in 2001 they tried to change it. Right, in 2001 they had an election, or it was voted on um, by the people if, of Mississippi. By the people of Mississippi, if they wanted to take out the Confederate um, portion of the flag and have a new design, or if they were going to keep it the same, the majority wanted to keep it the same. So right. that 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 brought up a very interesting conversation between me and Matt, me and us and our. Uh, part-time roommate Chris um, and I think it's an interesting thing to talk about in general because it's like well the arguments for keeping it right. supposedly um, are that it's a part of the history or whatever uh -huh. it's part of the culture of what Mississippi is and according to Chris people in the south like to be different than the rest of the country. They like to be known as being different. They like their way of life here and they want to show that somehow. Um, and I think there can be a happy medium met <laughs> where you're not yeah. flying something necessarily that is extremely uh, like questionable, yeah. right? And so, yeah, I think to, to keep everybody happy, to keep the majority happy overall, like, I would say put it in a museum and change up the logo, or change up the flag, excuse me, and, uh, you know, make it something a little bit more inclusive to everyone. Right. Just because it's like, I get the, the part that it's, it's a part of history, but uh -huh. leave it there, right? Right, right. Leave it in the past. And for me, I feel like it's good to have context around it. You know, like, if I had a family in Mississippi and like, you know, my kids saw the flag outside every single day and they didn't understand the meaning of that, you know, I couldn't teach it to them in context and they saw it as present day, you know, I just feel like that gets pretty complicated. Like I think there's a, 
a spot for it in history, but yeah, in a museum with contacts, with education behind it, right. versus it flying present day right. proudly. Because what I was saying to Chris too was like, well, okay, well us three are actually all really educated people that have graduated undergrad and Chris is in med school. So it's like, we were all very uh, aware of people that we saw it and it made us second think to like, wait, why is it there though? Mm -hmm. You know, we didn't think, oh, that's evil, take it down, wow, that's bad. I can't believe they have that up. So that's why I think it's important to have, have context. Have a conversation. To have yeah. context, like you're saying though. Um, yeah, absolutely. If you see it, yeah. rather than just seeing it. Like, that now, now people who don't know may just assume everyone that's right. in that building or whatever is a piece of shit to them. Right. Which may not be the case. Right. Um, so yeah, didn't learn too much about Mississippi, but I know that it's the poorest state in the country. Right. Um, not a lot of jobs there. Downtown Jackson didn't really feel like downtown. Yeah, I mean, it looked like a downtown a bit, but yeah, it had taller buildings and stuff, but didn't not feel much that lively. Um, Just a lot of rained, forests. There's it forests rained there, and that's it. Like crazy at night, we were getting groceries, and the power went out when we were checking out for our groceries, which I thought was pretty funny. And all the employees were like, "Yeah, like stay out, stay out," and then the power would come back on, and they're like, "Oh, damn." But it was pretty funny because they're all just like, I guess that's business as usual with the power surging right. because of the heavy rains. But Yeah, things that we just never deal with. <laughs> yeah, but it was actually the most powerful rain I've ever experienced so far in my life. Wow. I don't know if it was the most powerful, but... I guess our the hailing we experienced when we were in Budapest, or Prague, excuse right. me, was also pretty insane. Uh, insane. Intane. Intane. <laughs> but, yeah, I'd say overall that's pretty much Mississippi. That's Mississippi in a nutshell. We did our laundry. It was great. Oh, yeah, what did we learn? What did we learn as a couple, as Americans, and as business people? Okay. As a couple, I learned that Leia cried. <laughs> Uh, but no, we just need uh, we need a buffer, I guess. We need a we need to make sure we have our buffer, and um, you know, not getting too down on ourselves. Understanding that what we're doing is productive, and that we're doing a great job, and it's still early, so not being too hard on ourselves. Yeah, I think the thing that I struggle with most is that like if it's not going a certain way like in general like my life if I'm having like a shitty day I have a hard time being like okay like my shitty day can end right now because I choose to and the rest of my day will be great yeah like I have a hard time kind of picking up and moving forward I can kind of dwell and oh my god why did I do that you know right. and then it's like and and you know usually like I, I really I think for me I guess what I learned is I, I just I need to be more uplifting when you're like that when, or when you're going through like a, a frustrating moment. Um, I think for me, I, I in the past I had, uh, you know, a relationship or two where I was constantly bringing people up because they needed that or whatever, and I think I got really, really tired of that. And um, it like ch sort of changed me a little bit, you know. And now I'm like, you know, time goes on or whatever, but. I know that I need to just be more uplifting in those moments and not and not be frustrated myself. I think that's a great learning lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here like that is what I've been asking for. Um, yeah, and I think it's it's not the end of the world if I don't feel the greatest and I just need to kind of I need to actually take my five minutes. You know how like when we have an argument and I'm like give me five, leave me alone, and then I take my five, but I'm still mad. Yeah. You know, like actually taking five minutes and taking deep breaths and doing whatever I have to do to like actually get over it. You know, because I I can. I have a hard time doing that sometimes, so I feel like if I seriously take the five minutes and calm down and come back different is way better than just keeping mad for like 20. <laughs> yeah, and you have to choose to be happy. It's easier said than done, but yeah. No, I know, but I'm saying like, happiness is a choice and it's harder than being sad, so you have to choose to be happy and right. make that happen. Right. 
Um, so yeah, I think that's what we learned as a couple. And then uh, I would say that's pretty much the same as individual for me. Yeah. Um, and as then, business people, I learned that the prices, while grocery shopping at least, for the most part, didn't seem absurdly this cheap. This doesn't seem like you're actually turning left. What do you mean? Am I not? Uh, so I guess, straight? I don't know, this just looks like straight. But I, I get what, so you're supposed to go on the 67 South. Actually, it might be. Doesn't that look weird though? Yeah. I guess turn left. Turn left because it says to the 67. All right, well, uh, you're gonna witness and see if we go the wrong direction. So. 270. No, I, I like think, because this is 270 West, we don't wanna go there. So turn left and see if it readjusts or not. All right, well, we're gonna find out. Nope. Is that wrong? Oh. Oh. That was wrong. Well, I mean, it's redirecting us. That was weird. It said turn left. Yeah, I know. It was saying turn left, but it was reading going straight. So, that... Very weird. Um, Anyways, the prices I thought were going to be lower while we were grocery shopping. They were not. Oh, that was jokes. That was really hard to fucking <laughs> tell. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna do this. Okay. We're gonna just turn around. Alright. Oh, straight. Got it. Bam. Oh. Cool. Well, we're, we're pulling into someone's random farm here. Yeah. And we're, uh. It's quite interesting. Turning around. Turning on Church Street. Sick. Anyways, um. What did we learn as Americans? Um, we learned that... I learned about the Mississippi state flag. I didn't yeah, really I know about that. Yeah, I think that was the main American thing that we learned about that we didn't know about. And that Mississippi is the poorest state in the United States. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think don't judge a book by its flag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I learned as an American. Cool. And then... Anything else to add about business people? Turn. Why is that? Where are we going that way? I'm so confused. No, you know what? I think if you turn left, this is redirecting us from last time. If you turn left, it'll readjust again. Alright. You need to not lean forward, Leia. So just sit normally. Don't be so weird. Um, to end this podcast, what do we say? Uh, I'm let that car go. Um, so we, we then. So yeah, we're going to Hot Springs. My birthday is gonna happen. Uh -huh. Arkansas, I think. I think the gentleman we're staying with potentially is opening a dispensary. So maybe we'll get to see the dispensary. Or uh, maybe we'll get to see a dispensary while we're in Arkansas. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I know that it's super illegal in Mississippi to get caught with cannabis. And you, if you get caught with it in your car or like smoking it, you could like go to prison for Depending on the volume of cannabis you have on you, you could go to prison for up to like 20 years plus, like a long ass time. <sighs> on that so, note. Yeah, Arkansas, it's medically legal though. It's not decriminalized, but it's medically legal. So on that note, we are looking forward to a massage and fun times in hot springs. Yeah, and then we'll move on from there to Missouri, Kansas City. Uh, to stay with my cousin. Perfect. So, um, let us know what you think about this podcast, what you hate, what you love. Um, and then if you would like to keep up with our adventures as they are happening, please follow us on Instagram at living as Leia, at Matt Meredith, at Unreal Stories, that's U-N-R-E-E-L stories. And if you're into cannabis, at Cottonmouth Media. Yep. So that's it for this podcast episode. That's we'll Leia. See you guys. That's Leia, and I'm Matt. And otherwise, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, everybody, follow us. Bye. <laughs>